It's you! It's really you! All right! Nadia, cancel the whole evacuation. I don't care what's coming for us. We have got nothing to worry about. <laughs> He's wonderful at introductions, isn't he? I'm Nadia Gurel. You were the Battlemaster, weren't you? Back before Zakul invaded? Yes, that's right. And, of course, the only woman who could ever make an honest man out of me. Ugh, crushed me as easily as a Sith Lord, though much more pleasantly. Shut up and kiss me. Stars, it's really you. Ah, I miss you so much. We were so afraid everyone was sure that you would... that you didn't make it. Doc, I'm, I'm sorry to break this up, but we really need to get these ships ready to go. So you know about the Imperials? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. How exactly did you get mixed up in all this? I got split up from Kira and Scourge. Long story. So I went to find other Jedi. Seemed like the best odds of catching up with them. Or you, eventually. I heard about the colony after it was already built, so I was a latecomer. But they were happy to have a full-time doctor on staff. Well, that was before we got to know him. Dr. Kimball, Nadia, how go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. We should be calling the whole thing off. Do you know who this is? Hero of Tython, Slayer of the Emperor? Ring any bells? I command the Alliance now. We overthrew the Eternal Empire and destroyed the Sith Emperor, once and for all. I've come to help. <sighs> Sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. I am quite familiar with your past service to the Jedi, Commander. And I look forward to updating my journals with your more recent exploits. It's probably time you had a chapter all your own, but that will have to wait. The Sith are on our doorstep. I formed this colony to safeguard the Jedi and their teachings for the future. Now, we must abandon it to serve that same goal. Republic reinforcements are coming. We just have to hold out until they get here. We welcome any help they can offer. But until they arrive, our plan must remain the same. We have to get these shuttles ready as soon as possible. You don't seem convinced that help is on the way. You don't think the Republic will come? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Perimeter alarms. They're coming again. I'm on my way to handle it. Hmm. Yes. Take backup this time. Backup? I got all the backup I need right here. Commander, this is Tau Adair, our head of security. Would you be willing to join her in holding off the enemy as we complete our preparations? Could I bring Doc along as well? We make a great team. Tau, what do you think? Sensors aren't picking up a major push. Could even be a feint, so we shouldn't overcommit. Either way, sending the two of us is overkill already. Doc and Nadia should help cover the farming crews. We'll leave you to it then. May the Force be with you. We are gonna catch up when this is all over, Gorgeous. Believe it. I promise. Is he all right? Did he make it? Nostral's wounds were severe. Cauterized perforation of the upper ventricle, ocular damage from oxygen exposure, catastrophic muscular and nerve damage to the left forearm. Fortunately, he received treatment from the most brilliant, skilled, and <clears throat> handsome doctor in the entire galaxy, so he's gonna pull through. You've worked your magic as always. Glad I could prove that I haven't lost my edge. Thank you, Doc. I mean it. That's what I do. Gorgeous, let me tell you something. You have made it. This place, this planet, your own cantina, ships, a staff, a small army. We're a long way from Bugtown on Balmora. I'm proud of you. Such high praise. Let's hear some more. 
Let's see, uh, you're having ace a day. You're even more heroic and stunning than I remember. And I'm so glad to see you, it's, uh, it's hard to even think straight. Look, and I don't want to pressure you. I'm the last guy to give a lecture on fidelity, and we've been apart a long time. But I just want to be sure you know, I've stayed true. You are the only one for me. I don't want to spend another day without you. Works for me. Hard to believe it's been so long. The colony was good for me. Good for everyone, really. The way things were going, the break was good. I stuck with Kira and Scourge through the war. Even for a while after, until Scourge went on the hunt. He was obsessed. Something to do with the Sith Emperor, but he wouldn't tell me more. Kira was spun up about it, too. We got separated on Bagarin. I couldn't hook back up with them. I circled back to Tython, and then fell into Nostral's little project. Do you remember anything else? I can have people start searching for them right away. Not really. Sorry. I know Scourge had a secret contact. Someone he knew from back when he was the Emperor's Wrath. I'll jot down everything I have for you. Now then. I've already got my gear moved into some very nice quarters Dr. Ogarab put aside for me. So... So, why don't we spend a bit more time catching up? Just what the doctor ordered.